Hey guys, happy Monday. As always, I take aside this time on Monday and go over a color. We have over a hundred amazing colors in our One Step collection. That's not including our milk paints. That's not including our lacquers. But in our One Step paint, we have a hundred gorgeous colors. And I thought it would be fun today to show you just a really sweet, softer color. It's a pale, pale, kind of a creamy blue, if that makes sense. It's really gorgeous. But I thought about, you know, when we look at our entry halls or we look in our bedrooms and we like softer colors like this, not the drama. I love dramatic colors like a good man is hard to find. But there's always a time that we want to be able to have softer colors. And this is going to be one that you're going to fall in love with. Something else I'm going to go over with you today as far as applying transfers and color, full color transfers like this on pieces of furniture that you're working on. So the color crush today is called Hey Y'all. A lot of you may be thinking, why does she name these things goofy things? It's because we talk like that. We say Hey Y'all all the time. It's for real. We really do talk that way. Um, and we wear shoes. Imagine. Um, a lot of people, when you think about in the South, it's like we do have, there's a vernacular, there's words that we say, and definitely this is one of them. So I have a lot of fun naming my paints. And this is one that you're, that's going to be one of your soon favorites too. So I'm going to be going over how to paint your furniture with Hey Y'all and coming back with the color transfers. Really can take your painting, your DIY projects to a whole new level. All right, so let me set this down. And I have the paint right here. It comes in a 16 ounce. Now, y'all have been asking me for a long time, Amy, will you do four ounce samples? Well, guess what? <coughs> we are coming out with four ounce sample jars of 25 of our top selling colors the first of February. So you're gonna love that. Now, look at this color. It's gorgeous. Now, <coughs> sorry guys, my asthma, those of you who know me, my asthma is bothering me. Of course it would when I come on a Facebook Live. Hey Sandy, hey Hillary. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down. I've got a cabinet door. As I tell all of y'all to go to Habitat, go to Restore, get a cabinet door. I want you to start out painting on that. It allows you to be able to see your color You've invested a dollar in a door or a drawer, and you're able to see, is it going to really work in your room? You can hang it up to the wall. You can see if it's going to not clash, but that you're going to like the way it looks with your floor or the color of your wall, and you've not made a big investment. Then that way you have a comfort level. Now we'll have the samples, pots, to be able to order. You can say, yes, that's it, and then turn around and order a 32 ounce. A lot of people don't realize a 32 ounce of the one step paint is going to cover about 130 square feet. It goes a long, long way. You can easily paint two pieces of furniture, a dresser and a nightstand or a large rice bed. All you're going to need is one 32 ounce can of paint to paint an entire rice bed. All right, so let me turn this down. I'm going to show you. Just kind of go over this. So this is our cabinet door that we got at Restore. Let me get my computer set up so that way I can see and make sure that you can see me. Just one second. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna move this over just a second. Now, if you're working on furniture that already has a finish on it, that is um, a factory finish like this, we don't know where it's been. We don't know how old it is. Now this piece actually isn't very old, but it does have a factory finish on it. There's no need to sand it. There's no need to strip it. There's no need to prime it. You can put the one step on top of it. But one thing you do wanna do is you wanna use a clean slate. As Jean has always told you, this will get off the surfactants. This will get off liquid gold, whatever cleaners that you've had on it. And it's, as, it's very simple to use. Main thing is just getting the cap off and applying it with a lint-free rag. So we're just gonna count to about three seconds, three or four seconds, load up your, your rag, and then go over it. Now, there's not a whole lot of residue on this, but you are gonna get pieces of furniture that there is a lot of residue. I've done that before, and literally my rag would just be filthy. 
because it will get off the wax. You want to get down in here really well. And then allow it to air dry a few minutes. I'm going to come back and try to just dry this a little bit because I don't want y'all to have to sit and wait on me in order to be able to do this. So clean it with your clean slate. The other thing is, I know this is silly, used to, like I'm really bad about putting my makeup on in the car when I'm on the passenger side. And Jean would get so mad at me because I, I would have like blush and lipstick and all that kind of stuff. And so he said, I'm gonna try something. So um, one day he went and he took the clean slate and wiped it right over my visor in the car and it took all of the makeup off. So this will get off a wax residue. Um, it'll take makeup off of the visors in your car. Um, it will also, when you get wax buildup, like if you're mopping your floors and sometimes you'll get it around the molding, your base molding, this will take off buildup residue of waxes. So it's a really great product to have in your pantry. It's great to be able to use to take off wax. If you get too much on your project, of course, it's great for that. All right, so I just want to show you, this is this yummy color. It's called Hey Y'all. It's very soft, really beautiful. It goes with just about anything. The other thing I want you to be really careful of, a lot of people have a tendency, they want to be able to start on something and, and they're painting this and they want to be able to get it covered in one coat. You're not going to do that. I want you to think about doing two thinner coats on your piece. And then that way, if you have some holidays or something showing through, that's okay. But I don't want you to try to put it on too thick because then your paint will have a tendency to crack. So allow some of these holidays, that's quite all right. And of course, this is um, water-based, so that way you can easily clean your brush with water. A lot of times, if I'm gonna come back and put another coat on, I'll just wrap it up in a bag you can put a wet brush in your bag, close it up, and then that way just take it back out and continue to use it to be able to put on your second coat. So I'm just gonna do long, clean strokes. There again, I'm not trying to cover this my first time. I am going to um, not worry about having these streaks because it's gonna very easily be covered up on my second application. So I'm not worried about that. The cool thing about it is with the new formula, we do have it to where it is self-leveling. So it's gonna be a gorgeous smooth finish, as you can tell by the one on my right. And I'm not gonna have you sit here and just watch me paint this whole door. We do this because I want people to see, this is very easy to do. It's enjoyable. But now you do want to make sure that you come back. You'll see how I'm all the time going back and trying to smooth it out. Again, I'm not worried about all these streaks because I'm going to catch up on that on my second coat. All right. So I'm not going to have y'all sit here and watch me continue to paint. I want to be able to show you on this other door that I've got. As you're watching, please be sure and... Um, as you pop on, just say, hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. I love that. I go back and look at all the Facebook messages and answer them. And I'm continuing to answer so many of your, your sweet messages um, and notes about the passing of my mom. So thank you so much. But I will go back and look at those and answer your questions later. So I'm not going to continue to paint this. I wanted you to be able to see some of this gorgeous color that we've got on Color Crush Monday. It's called Hey Y'all. This is great if you want kind of a country French look. It's going to look great with transfer. So I'm going to set this down over here. Now, this piece, as you can tell, has this gorgeous smooth finish. It is matte because this is a chalk-based paint, but it is self-leveling and it does have it to where it has a matte finish, but it is sealed. The reason we come back and we put waxes on it is because we're wanting a patina. Now, I wanna be able to show you something. This is my sister company, a maker studio, and we have these adorable transfers. Look at this. This is one that I'm gonna be showing you. This is of a, a rose. This is a full color ink transfer. This is not a printed material in the fact that this is, um, this is all pure ink. So the cool thing about it is it looks really real. Look at that. The depth to it is sensational. 
the quality of it. I've tried to come back with just really classic looks of uh, things like roses and hydrangea and um, different buds and colors and honeysuckle and there's a lot of them in here. Let me open this up. So they, they come to you, it's packed in this tube. And the sheet, there's an instruction sheet inside it that goes over how to be able to do it. And then it comes on a sheet like this with a backing. Look at this. So there's so many great designs. On this one, I love this too, look at this. I always like to put a lot of script French words, things that deal with flowers. And this has a backing on it. So you can pull that apart. And this is what we're gonna cut out. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. It has just a little bit of adhesion to it, so it allows it to be able to hold in place. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So these are really fun. You can use these on anything that you paint that you put the one step on. It's great to use it on furniture. You can use it on lamps. I use it on lampshades trays, all kinds of things. And it really just kind of takes it to the whole new level. So I'm gonna roll this up and put it back in my tube. Now I've cut these up and I'm gonna lay out another piece. I want you to just be able to see. This is so easy and so fun. So see the backing of this. It is adhesive, as you can tell. It's got just a little bit of pull to it. And I'm gonna lay this down right next to, let me see. Okay, now I'm getting into composition and placement. I'll tell you what, let me do this. I'm gonna lay this bigger rose. Look at the detail on that. Isn't that absolutely spectacular? I'm gonna lay this down up here. Now, notice the other thing that I did. I didn't just focus on the flat area. Look how we brought it up onto the actual trim. That's so easy to do, guys. Isn't that fun? This is great on a piece that you wanna put in your bedroom. It's great to be able to go into a nursery. Um, if, you, if you love country French, you're gonna love Hey Y'all, this is our Color Crush Monday, as well as being able to add some of these, these um, color transfers. So look at this. I'm gonna lay this here and roll that up on the trim. I'm gonna burnish it just a little bit. And actually, if you've got if you've got something that has a flat edge like this, it's going to work just a little bit better for you. So I want to make sure that's nice and attached. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to burnish it. So I'm putting quite a bit of pressure. Now this you need to listen to this because there is there's a method to the madness here. I'm going to come over it in one pass first. I, I've got two coats of paint to cover up, make sure that you've got no holidays, you've got a really beautiful finish. And then I want you to come back and burnish all over this color transfer once. One good pass. All right. Now, now I want you to come back. I am gonna take this leaf up just a little bit up onto here. I'm gonna lay that part down because I love the fact that I'm gonna get it up on the curved part of my cabinet door. Now, I'm not gonna get this bud on there, but I want you to watch something. Can you see how that's been released? Now, so it's a, I want you to burnish it and then release. Burnish and release. Burnish and release. So you're constantly, you're not gonna just do one pass. Every time you're kind of burnishing it, and then pulling that and that's exposing that. Is everybody with me? Look at that. Darling, darling, darling. This is so, so easy and it really takes your, your DIY, your painting to a whole new level. Let me burnish this just a little bit. Especially a lot of these little details. <laughs> this little area right here. 
isn't wanting to cooperate. <coughs> burnish, lift, burnish, lift, burnish, lift. Look at that. So fun. Now see how cute it is. I've got to come back and burnish that in. See how it come up on on the area like this, it really adds so much. Now, working with your placement, I like the negative space. I like the composition that I've got. Now, when you are working with color transfers, I do like adding some words. Now, I wanna show you. This is another one of my transfers that have butterflies. We're coming into spring and summer. These butterflies are fabulous. These are vintage postcards, which I love. You can just do placement, strategic placement of just some of the postcards and then just add one butterfly. So that way you can use these on a lot of different kinds of furniture. One that I love though, and these are actually letters. When I go to the Paris flea market, I buy old letters. And these are actually from letters that I buy from the Paris flea market. And I love using the script. Now, this could be great used on the drawer of a piece of furniture that you're painting. You just cut this out and burnish it just like I showed you on the side of your drawer. But these also look good incorporating it with your flowers. If I'm going to add script, I'll usually add the script first and then I'll lay the flowers on top of it. But today I wasn't going to use the script. I wanted to be able to show you how to do the flowers. Now this is the other thing that I would suggest doing just for wear and tear, just to be able to really enjoy this for many years, I would take our matte sealer and seal the whole thing. Now guys, when I tell you this, that this really is completely matte, it's completely matte. So somebody that's on here that's used this, um, just let them know how fabulous it is. It has no VOCs, it goes on so easily. It's kind of a milky white color but it goes on so easy. And then that way, this will seal your piece. You don't have to put wax on top of it if you don't want to. If you wanna just keep it kind of this pristine, um, pale blue, which is just so yummy. It's just the right color combination. It's got a little bit of green in it. You can just come back on top of this with our matte sealer and go over the whole thing and it's gonna dry down completely matte. You will not see that it's on here. That way you can come back, you can clean this with water. So easy. Now, I usually suggest putting on two coats of the matte sealer. And the reason for this is just it makes it really easy, makes it nice to be able to take care of it. You don't have to worry about your um, your transfer getting extra wear and tear because you know that you've already sealed it and it's gotten protection. But this new matte sealer, Jean makes me say the new formula of the matte sealer, you cannot see it. It's so easy to go on. And it just gives my transfers just a little bit of extra protection. Love that. So easy to use. It's gonna dry in probably about 20, 30 minutes, and I may come back and then go on and put another coat on top of it. Is that so fun? Um, this is, you know, this really is so much fun. Look at this. How fun. It really, I was just like, if we're gonna go over, hey y'all, and it's such a sweet kind of country French color. How can I not show them how to do the color transfers? So we've got our color transfers. We're gonna put a link for you here. And this is from my sister company, a maker studio. It's just www.makerstudio.com. But we're gonna be putting the link to these color transfers that you can use on your furniture and all your projects that you use the one step on. If there's anything that you put the one step on, you can put the color transfers right on top of it. And it really is going to take it to a whole new level. So thanks for tuning in to watch me today with Color Crush as we went over Hey Y'all. And then be sure to tune in on Wednesday. I'm going to be showing you how to create just a yummy, textured, chippy look with a brand new color technique. 
Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you in just a couple of days. Bye.